Which of these is the actual name of a Disney-inspired porno? James and the Giant Peaches, The Loin Kang, or Lady and the Tramp Stamp? Lady and the Tramp Stamp? No, the actual name was oh. actually The Loin King. Oh, that's yeah, which is not good. I was at the CyberSocket Awards, rubbing elbows with some of the world's most prominent gay pornographers. Both. Are any of you guys nominated? Yeah. Uh, not, me. not you. Damn, yeah. why, why do you think this was such an unsuccessful year for you? What? What do you think is the weirdest thing about America? I think the um, overreacting about everything. What do you mean? I had a lot of questions about how porn is made. You get on the porn set, you do all your paperwork, then you do photos. Tell photos me more about spread. the paperwork. It seemed like everyone had something to promote. Beach Rats just came out. Beach Rats? It's about four guys who are trying to score some weed in Fort Lauderdale. So far, this is the most depressing movie I've ever heard of. This is the first time anyone has ever fetishized Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> All Saints is our newest feature film. Adam Ramsey is here tonight. Hell of an armpit. I've been told they smell really good. How is it? Unremarkable. I had a nice chat with porn screenwriter D.P. Wells. How do you deal with writer's block? I tend to make sure we get like an element. Like we have this great uh, vintage car. So you'll see a vintage car and you'll think, I know, let's have sex in this car. An impresario Chichi LaRue and I exchanged invective. I'm here with Chi-Chi LaRue, who's played such a formative role in my inability to be intimate with another human. Well, you know, we make these movies for people so that they actually feel like they have somebody to be intimate with. We were also joined by a handful of heterosexual allies. I'm here with... James Dean, you're a commanding presence on camera. You've never done gay porn, though. No, I Because you're a heterosexual. I've accepted I am a straight person. I handle that I'm content production and model casting for Playboy Plus. How's that different from just Playboy? Just open leg style. So you're in the labia business. Yes. That is exactly what Playboy needs. More labia. This porn star told me all about a woke new studio. Noir Mel. What they're doing is showcasing black men in a positive light. And later in the evening, the Surfer's Choice Award for Best Black-Themed Website went to something called Thug Boy. Thank you guys so much. I enjoyed quizzing various guests on pornographic film titles. All right, two of these are, are made up and two are true. My Bear Lady, right. Orgy and Bess, Hoboat, <laughs> and Breast Side Story. Uh, my Bear Lady, I'm going to say, is, is legit. Okay. And I'm going to say Hoboat. It's actually Breast Side Story. You should make Orgy and Bess. Yeah. Have sounds... you done an opera? Um, uh, no. Which of these is an actual Steven Spielberg inspired porno? Okay. E3, the extra testicle. War Whores, it's about a brothel in World War One. Oh. Or uh, the Third Reich fetish film, Schindler's Fist. Schindler's Fist. You think Schindler's Fist is an actual porno? It's actually a porno. There's actually... They made a Schindler's Fist. Yeah. Let's tweet at the ADL and start a tweet, a tweet storm about it. Which of these is an actual show tune inspired title? Inspired by the sound of music, Do Me Ray. Inspired by Company, Another Hundred Partners. Or Dream Girls, and I am telling you I'm not coming. Dream Girls. It's Do Me Ray. You get it, right? Don't Ray Me. Because none of these homos in LA know they're fucking musical. Yeah, it doesn't go like that at all. That was literally Do Ray Me. You've missed the point entirely of Do Ray Me. Or which of these is a David E. Kelly inspired porno? Boston Barely Legal. Allie McFeel or Boston Pubic? Boston Pubic. No, it's Allie McFeel. It's Allie McFeel. But the best part of the night was when I received long sought after validation from porn director Mr. Pam. Have you ever thought about modeling? We can go.